Right, so I thought you internet folk might be interested in the uh, robot zombie that I made for the Instructables contest. This one at the moment is controlled by Bluetooth, so if we just tell it to start moving forwards, we've got this mode, which is a sort of out of phase arm crawl movement. Unfortunately, although it looks cool, it doesn't go anywhere. So I did a synchronized movement, which is much more effective. It's a little bit slow, so we can also increase the speed via the link. There we are. Can go a little bit crazy. Uh, that's decent. We can also turn on the spot. So we turn left. And just pause it or the rear. See the neck animation is linked to the arm animation, but we can actually disable that as well. Turn it around so you can get a good view of the fact that there's only half of it. Clearly I was too lazy to build a whole zombie. Alright, let's take a look behind the scenes. So here you can see a bit of flexible neck which was created with plastic to add onto the doll's neck and give it some movement there. The whole paint job uh, was done with acrylic paint. The doll was first wrapped in plastic, like regular shopping bag pa plastic, which was hit with a heat gun, which causes it to shrink and conform around the body. It gives a pretty cool zombie look. Uh, the dress and everything was distressed a little bit. Turned out that this super synthetic polyester or whatever it is is pretty much indestructible so I ended up actually just washing it with acrylic paint and that gave it a bit of a distressed look not actually as much as I would have liked all right let's look underneath so the power is supplied by six series 4.2 volt lithium-ion batteries which gives us about 25.2 volts at full charge over here there's a power switch to turn it on and off. This power is then fed to the DC to DC converter, which can take in 18 to 75 volts and output 5 volts at about 3 amps, which is used for the servos. The Arduino is actually fed by a 12 volt linear regulator, which comes straight from the batteries. And then obviously the onboard regulator drops it down even further. I did that just in case the output of the DC to DC converter dropped under load, then hopefully the micro will still keep running. There are some smoothing caps, those are on the servo's uh, power lines, and then some on the input of the converter, which was only really needed when I was using a woefully underpowered bench supply. The Bluetooth module is a El Cheapo $7 unit from Deal Extreme, just Bluetooth to serial and works fantastically well, it's really easy to get running. The whole circuitry is incredibly simple, it's really just an Arduino driving servos, that's all there is to it. The servos themselves, you can see here, these are the two shoulder servos, they control the up and down movement of the arms. And then these ones that are a bit hidden away here, these are what I call the elbow servos, and they control via a parallel linkage the forward and backward position of the arm. The parallel linkage basically limits the movement in one direction, uh, turning the rotation of the servo into a linear movement. Over here you can see the neck servos, which work via cables that run through tubes all the way through to the front. And the head is anchored by a spring over here. And then the cables move backwards and forwards and move the head around. That's really all there is to it. But if you want to see a real detail, just go to my Instructable page, which I will link to below. Okay.